Well, good morning. I'm so glad um, that you guys are here. Um, I am safely at home now, so I will be recording all these lessons for you from the safety of my home. So um, you might see a random cat. <laughs> so um, let's talk about construction because we haven't, we didn't learn about how to make a parallelogram. And there's a few other things that I would like you to learn before um, we move on to the next unit. So let's get our mass pad um, construction screen out if you have it, and you can follow along. All right, so let's look at parallelograms. So if I have a parallelogram that is 5.5 centimeters by four centimeters and the measure of angle ABC is 125 degrees, I would start by choosing the ruler. Okay, so this is in centimeters. So remember you can choose the color of the line you want and the thickness. I like the big thickness because, you know, I have the old eyes, so I can see it really well. But you might, this is a fine thickness, too, for actually drawing the shape. And again, this is a construction line thickness here. So let's select our line, and we're going to make a 5.5 um, uh, length line right here. So we're just going to go to 5.5 on our ruler. Then what we should do is go choose this um, compass and we're going to set this one to four because the other side is four. So we'll just get that tip right at four. We're going to lock it in. And remember, once we start spinning this, it starts drawing. We don't need that much of an arc. So we can set it maybe about here and then do, oops, and we've got to choose the construction line. So if you make a mistake like that, you just hit this little back arrow like that. And then let's choose a construction line. And we just make a little arc like this. And we go to the other end point of the line segment. And then make another arc. All right, so at that point, we have an angle, the measure of ABC. So if this is A, this is B, and then we want to go to C, we can bring the protractor in here, and you line up the protractor right with the target right here on the end point. Now, it does a funny thing. So if you try to start here, whoops, if you try to draw from here, let's see, let's get the little, there we go. It won't let you go up or down, no matter what you do. So let's not do that. So I was playing with it and I saw that if you were doing 125, so if we put, see the X and we go right at 125, we can come down to this target right here. All right, so now let's, we, we don't need this compass anymore, so let's take it off there. Now we know that this other side is 5.5, so let's take this, um, this um, compass and we're going to stretch this out to 5.5. All right, and again, we don't want this here. So we just need a little arc. So we don't need to make a big circle. So we just make a little arc to make an intersection right here. Okay, so at this point, we're ready to finish our parallelogram. So we draw from, let's, 
I'm a little hesitant to draw from that point because it has that stalling feature. There we go. And then um, we're going to connect there and connect there. And there you have it. We have a very nice looking parallelogram. And its sides are 5.5 centimeters and 4 centimeters with the measure of angle 125 degrees right here. All right. So um, let's look at, well, what if it's not a parallelogram? What if it's just a quadrilateral? So let's look at different sides. So um, if you want to clear the whole thing, you can just hit clear. So let's say we have a side length PQ of 4. So we're going to draw from 4 to here. And QR is 125. So this is PQ. So QR is somewhere over here. So, um, and PQ is going to be at 120 degrees. P is 80. So let's go to a construction line here. And we want to set this up so we have 1.5 for the length. It's right about there, not a very big length. Okay, so we're going to set that length up and we're going to make a little arc. Okay, so we're see 120, that should probably be enough right there. We can take that away. Now let's bring this back. We're going to move the target here. Oops. You want to get the little hand one. Oh, not that one. <laughs> okay, there we go. So we want to move the target there. And then we're going to use a construction line from 120. So we see 120 here. We wait for a little X. Let's uh, encourage it here. There we go. There's my X. Okay, and we have to keep it going all the way down to that point right there. Okay, we, I made it. Okay, so we have one point when we see that we have one intersection, which gives us a point right here. So now um, we know that Q, angle Q, so this was, um, this was PQ. And this is QR, oops, the measure of angle Q was 120, the measure of angle P is 80 in my example. So um, we're going to bring back this, uh, and line up the target here, and then we're gonna find 80. Well, 80 is over here, hello. Got a kitty coming up. Um, so we have 80 degrees here, so we're going to make a construction line over here. So let's remind it what we want to do. And we're going to go to this 80 and lock it down right there. All right, we don't need that anymore. So let's see, do we have all we need? PQ is four centimeters. QR is one centimeter. We have a degree there, so I needed one more length. So um, let's say um, this is uh, quadrilateral PQRS. So we have PQR and S. So let's say S, the side PS, because this is P right here. So we have P, Q, R, and we don't know where S is. But let's say P, S, let's make it uh, three centimeters. So we're going to come back here and put the needle there, open this up, put it on three, lock it in, 
And we don't need a big arc here, so we just take it around here and make an arc like that. Okay, so now we have everything we need to make this one. So we choose the thicker line. Let's start from here. And, um, whoops, let's see. There we go. And look at that, we have a quadrilateral. All right, so that should finish your, um, that's actually section 8.5. Um, I made a mistake and taught you section 8.4 yesterday, thinking it was 8.5, but that's what 8.5 is about. So let's look at um, how do we copy an angle? Now, this isn't in your book, but it's extremely important and it's not that hard. So let's look at that. So we want to clear at once. So if we have an angle here, let's choose a different color just to change things up. So we um, have an existing angle like this and we have another line segment here. So let's go back to the construction line and we're going to um, do a little arc here. Let's make it so it doesn't go very far here and make a little arc. And then we're gonna make the same little arc on this line. Okay, at that point, we're gonna lock up to this intersection. We're gonna measure the distance of where that arc intersected that angle. And we're gonna come down and make that arc here. And let's see, then we do our final line segment right here, line it up with that, and we've copied an angle. All right, so that's it for section 8.5, and I hope you have a wonderful day.